The story begins with a folk singer named Luther Sellers playing on the street of Kentucky before being discovered by a publicist named Shelley. A part I find interesting is when they're in the office and trying to figure out what his name, stage name and look will be in an attempt to give him the most marketable look possible. They decided on a suit and the name Stag Preston. We then watch Stag rise to incredible fame. It's a classic a rags to riches plot with the twist that Stag is actually a monster who goes on to do unspeakable things across the novel, with each action being worse than the last. It's his publicist Shelley that ends up being the more sympathetic character, and he's constantly having to keep Stag in his place and out of trouble. He, like all characters in this book, are, however, are still morally compromised. This novel is a work of fiction, however, the characters are based off real life people people and the story as a whole is deeply grounded in reality, and Stagg himself is modeled after Jerry Lee Lewis as well as Elvis. It's clear Harlan Ellison is perhaps a little too knowledgeable about show business as well. This book's start take on the matter reminds me of Bojack Horseman. If you're a big fan of rock music and can't stand the idea that your favorite rock star was meticulously calibrated to be as likable as possible, and is an actuality a monster, you may want to stay away from this book. I think Ellison did a better job at playing to his strengths there than he did in the last novel. It's a surprisingly violent and mean read. It has a fantastic ending, and that's really all I have to say about it.